Are you ready? Remember, you get to pick this case. 
That's okay, but I have full faith. We can all do it stacked. We've been working so hard on our planks. For the last five weeks, every single workout had a plank. Every single one.
Okay, let's start off standing. Calf stretch. I like to use, if you have a bike, this bar, the vertical one, heel at the 
the base, toe up high, and the whole foot on it. Let's say this is my wall. Get your heel to the base, toe up. Pull your hip bone forward. If you have a support beam or your pole dancer, grab your pole. Anyhow, bring that hip bone forward, stretching that calf. Once again, Poppy is guarding whatever's going on outside. <laughs> She's equally curious tonight. Switch sides. Bring that hip bone forward. Calf stretch, so your heel is down to the base. Keep your knees straight. Bring your hip bone forward. Grimace until you smile. <laughs> oh, oh, it is going to be sweaty in here next week. Oh, oh my goodness. We're going to change the name of the class to Hot Wheels. All right, figure four. Right foot goes across the left knee. Bend your supporting leg and stick your hips out. Keep your head up, chest up. Take your right foot back, flip it, stretch the quad, lean backwards. Go ahead and lie down all the way if you can. Just make sure you keep that knee grounded. That knee stays grounded. I'm leaning to the same side as that brightly colored foot. Take that foot across the other thigh. Put that cheek down. Give it a big hug. 
Pull, pull, pull. Hug, hug, hug. Stay up tall. And a double twist. And center, opposite hand is quick, stack those knees. And lean forward, stretching those hips. Corner, and switch sides. Left knee back, quadricep stretch. Going towards that left foot. Give it a big old hug. Stretch a little bit. Okay. Put on, put on. Does anybody see that anymore? Jump, jump, jump. Opposite elbow is me. Hammers. And center and stack. Dog, or just extend the spine as best you can. 
Now, careful, don't sink into your shoulders. Leg in the neck, open the throat through the chest. All the way down on your tummy. Do as I say, not as I do. Right hand, two o'clock. Bend your left, shoulder goes down and roll over. On your tummy. Now, same arm, bring it up one o'clock. Again, that shoulder stays down as you roll over. Good. On your tummy, switch side, 10 o'clock. Bend the right and roll over. On your tummy, same arm, bring it towards 11 o'clock. And shoulder forward as you roll. You're gonna lick my face, aren't you? Sight! <laughs> Center, and push back child's pose. Make one up to your knees. All right, for our elbows. We did lots of burpees today, so that's why I did shoulder stretch. Now I want you to do right hand, make the okay sign. See that? Down. Now, I'm lift my right arm out to the side. Bring those three fingers underneath my chin. Kind of bring that O towards my mouth. Elbow as high as you can. Three fingers under the chin, up tall. Now, extend your right arm away and tilt your left ear down. Left stretch right in there. Fingers underneath the chin. Stretch, fingers underneath the chin. Oh, let's keep going away right about now. One more. And down. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Other side. Bring it up. 45 degree angle. Bend the elbow. Fingers underneath the chin. Put that elbow up nice and high. Now, as you extend out, your goes opposite here, away, and in. And away. Think of this like when you're vacuuming and the cord gets caught 
around the corner and you kind of shake it out. That's what we're doing with the ulnar nerve right now. After doing all those push-ups and the burpees, sometimes we get a little bit of impingement going on through the shoulder and the neck. And we feel it in the elbow. Last one. Oh, mine went away. And down. Circle shoulders back. Three. Two. One. Take a deep breath. Up. Out. Social distance. Up. And I'll see you 6 a.m. tomorrow.